I'm here visiting a friend, a very dear friend of mine, who I have uh, promised I would visit for the last five years, and for personal reasons I didn't do it, but now I'm here, which is great. It's really a milestone. So, um, And then I'm off to visit another friend, and I'm delivering my uh, <clears throat> uh, Cereopagopus species Bachma to uh, a young gentleman who has a mature female and he's going to try a second attempt at pairing her. So um, he's going to trade me some uh, Achaia. Um, these are Flamingo Chylus species Achaia. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, they should molt into 2i by the end of the month. Um, and then hopefully I will have some babies from the male. Um, and I'm sending him away in a really nice sized critter keeper and I transferred his burrow into that um, critter keeper so he could feel at home. He was very upset about it, um, however, and uh, he did spend the entire first day, first night, that next day, the whole drive from Spokane to Seattle, which is like four or five hours, he spent it clinging to the top and then the next day he clung to the top and finally he crawled down into his burrow uh, at night um, last night. So that's a good sign. He's blocked off the entrance. He's kind of like, leave me alone. I need to be resettled. Um, and then today, um, I'm going to be spending the night with a friend and uh, going back, heading home tomorrow. Um, and of course, by the time this video is posted, that will all have taken place. And you will see the footage that I include of my adventures on the way home. I plan to stop in a really dry, high desert area in a place called Vantage, Washington, and I'm going to search for the scorpions that we have here and maybe even see if there's any wind scorpions or lizards. So I'm really excited about that. It's going to be really fun. Um, and since I told you about the view, I want to show you the view here. <sighs> So pretty. We could see the sunset last night. And uh, my friend here, she's uh, used to live in Spokane and she's helped with some rescue ducks and taken in um, one of my ducks that had some health problems and is doing much better over here. And uh, I'll include some clips of my duckies and her duckies that are my duckies that are now her duckies and her duckies and uh, some adventures that I took yesterday on the beach. I saw this little purple crab and yeah, it was a lot of fun. And I also want to share some creepy Halloween, um, I think they're cross stitch or needlepoint that uh, my friend Christine's mother made. Um, anyway, yeah, enjoy these and uh, I look forward to putting this video out. I tried to put a video out last week and I really, really, I felt so discouraged because it took hours just to make the footage, then it took hours to try and edit it, and it didn't work out. The audio was terrible. I made a mistake, and uh, and then my phone didn't have enough storage. You know how that is. And then I erased it all. <laughs> so anyway, I guess I, I, just, I just accepted it and decided it was not meant to be. So I'll be back in a flash. Okay, so I am at the state park. This is in, I guess what's considered Eastern Washington, just over the Cascade Mountains. And uh, I'm headed home. It's really hot here, it's like a blast of hot air. And it's a high desert environment next to water. And here we are supposed to be able to find the Northern Scorpion, as well as some wind scorpions. So I'm going to go ahead and search for them and show you the landscape. Looking at a lot of sagebrush. Um, it's very sandy and the grass is all dried out. It is August. Uh, we've got plateaus in the background. There's a sandy beach and a rock. And this is um, the Columbia River. Um, the Great Columbia River. And so there, any kind of creatures that live around here are going to get a lot of hot um, heat coming up off of the, um, what's this, a shell, heat coming up off of the sand during the um, 
summertime. I'm sure that there are probably snakes as well. So if I do see a rattlesnake, that will be the, my very first rattlesnake that I have ever seen. So it looks like the shell that I just picked up is something natural to the area. Lots of shells, little freshwater clams, little freshwater clam shells everywhere. And that's interesting. I mean, and I haven't really been, I haven't been to this park ever before. So these things are all probably common to people who come here, but very new to me. Here's a very uh, cute little shell. Look at all of these. That's incredible. I could take some home and put them in my terrarium. Anyway, so I'm gonna walk along the beach here and I'm gonna check out um, along this line in here and see what I find and maybe some of the rocks near the shore. Um, so yeah, I'll turn off the camera and go and do that. Okay, I've managed to traverse the beach and make it over to a little outcropping of sand where there are a lot of rocks along the shore. So I'm gonna check all of that out, see if there's anything around. It's like a bunch of um, swallows on the water and uh, some nests. At least I think they're swallows. Um, looks like this uh, part of the bank, like over there is, is eroding a little bit by little bit. Um, it's very possible that these are um, bat shelters as well, because I really don't see any of the tell, tell signs of it being birds, but, well, there's some bird poo. So I'm guessing it's probably swallows, although I do know that there are bats in the area, uh, and they're worried about the conservation of the bats. So I know sometimes when you go into a cave they want you to wear um, different pair of shoes so that you don't track anything from the outside. I know that's over by uh, Mount St. Helens. So there are plenty of swallows though so I would guess that these are swallows nests. I mean that would be the easiest answer. So on the ground there are like a lot of these rocks kind of turned a few over and underneath them it's just some moist sand uh, so I haven't I haven't found anything particularly interesting under here I've seen two red ants and that is about it for invertebrates so far so here's a very um, lava looking rock um, and you can see underneath there I think there's a there's a bunch of feathers and there's well there's some dead insects. There's a very tiny beetle in there, and otherwise nothing. There are these very dry chunks of seaweed that have been washed up on the shore here, all along the shore. There's nothing. Nothing has been under those. There's some more up close. These are very awesome little nests. I'm, I would be so curious to know what happens at night, what comes out of here. <laughs> Maybe the bats and the swallows live together. I'm just so curious about this kind of thing. Look at this, it's just amazing. I really love it. Looks like a lot of kids like to carve their name in there. Pretty. There's the exoskeleton of some kind of creature that molted out here. Must be some sort of fly relative to the dragonfly. I actually, I don't know what it is, so I'm not going to try to guess. of detritus that's washed up on the beach 
We've got, um, looks like some very tiny clams. Um, here's some sort of a beetle, um, uh, some kind of a, a bee or something of that nature. We have a very ext <laughs> extremely tiny bone. That's so interesting. It must have come from a mouse or something. Uh, this is, um, huh, another exoskeleton of some kind. Lots of leaves, pieces of mica. This bone is pretty cool. I think I'm gonna take that. Someone spayed some shell art here. And look at this really interesting formation up here. Now that's cool. What is that? Some sort of a wasp? I have a lot to learn, don't I? Kind of a very interesting pod that we don't, I haven't seen in the area where I live. Looks like they're releasing these very silky, silky seeds. Very interesting. So neat how you just go a few miles from somewhere, 100 miles or so, and you find so many things you don't see other places. There's a little blue damselfly. There are a lot of these little funnel webs around. I think I saw um, some kind of a grass spider with a um, an egg sac inside. pieces of driftwood, some roots from the erosion, places that are eroding down. It's very pretty, like waves, and a little pile of rocks right here. Uh, so I'm a bit curious to see what is under these rocks. Okay, there's some glass. This is a piece of sand. Nothing under there. More clams. Okay. Some piece of bark. So I didn't see anything there. There's a railroad tie. Um, looking in the cracks here. Nothing that I can make out. So I haven't hit a hot spot, that's for sure. Look at this piece of clay. It's like a fissure. Okay, that's amazing. I have to feel it. Yep, it's just pure clay. It's like something I'd want to collect and, and take some back for some of my terrariums that have my wild caught creatures. Perfect consistency. Along the bank here evidence of the tide rising at different levels so there is a dam down here so when the dam rises up if i'm here i will be swimming probably uh didn't see any signs although uh maybe i'm taking some degree of risk i don't know so what i'm gonna do is down here around the corner i think i see where i can go up on the bank and go back the other way maybe i'll have a little better luck Maybe the scorpions move up that way uh, when the when the sun goes when the sun goes down. Maybe they come down here to get a drink. I don't know. Um, the wind scorpions are supposed to be a diurnal species, so they should be out during the day. And uh, I don't have a scorpion light, and I won't be here, here until dark. So if I find something, it's going to be hiding away. So let's take a look here. Another red ant. These have little cracks. What did I just see there? Something? No? Nothing. Keep dropping, dropping my sticks too. Um, 
big chunks of clay. Um, I would imagine that a wind scorpion just bury itself. I've never looked for them before. I always think that I've looked up enough of their behavior that I know what I'm looking for, but then I'm completely surprised when I see things in person. So that is, remains to be seen. Okay, we've got some sticks here. I think I'm gonna take this one with me. Uh, a bigger one. Not finding anything there under these sticks at all. Some very interesting plants that I'm not familiar with. Pile of just a bunch of reeds, stuff that's washed up on the shore here. Not seeing anything under here. No. Let's see what we can find down here along these trees that are pretty close. I mean, it's giving some ground cover that's out on a point. Maybe that makes a difference, and I am going to find out. Here we have an old piece of gunny sack. It's like it washed up on the shore. It's like all folded over. Um, there's a black widow. Check it out. We found a black widow. How awesome. Look at her. Okay, she ran away. There she is, down in there. This is why people don't go poking around like I'm doing, I'm sure. So, we see a black widow. in there. Probably a good idea to have gloves, although you know me. You guys have known me enough to know that I'm too stupid for that. Okay. Um, ants? I wouldn't think that scorpions would want to be around ants. Um, but there's the little widow spider. So I'm just going to leave her alone and carry on. This time I'm not going to forget my stick. We got just pieces of this random spots. It's kind of nice hiding place, of course. Okay, moving on. Large crazy poop. Something that ate a bird. Feathers in there. I wonder if these are good places for hiding. No. I wish that some of the photos that I saw showed to scale um, how small the baby northern scorpions are because I really don't know if I'm looking for something absolutely tiny or a little bigger. Um, I just know that they were under some rocks. So, yeah, rock. Uh, I might need to go farther away from the water, but I do know that they've been found near bodies of water. Okay. goes. It's about the size of my bark scorpion. Okay, you'll never guess. I found a wind scorpion, but um, I think it, it's already dead or dying. Um, it was under a rock. It's almost like somebody came by and stepped on the rock or something. It's uh, unfortunate. But um, I'm pretty stoked that I actually found one. So um, that's amazing. Another black widow. 
see her hourglass just barely. Here's some kind of uh, a little baby spider. I want to try to look at the eyes and see if I can identify it, if it's a wolf spider or any relative of wolf spiders. I did find another scorpion and I will show you that in a while. So these scorpions and wind, wind, wind scorpions, Ugh, excuse me, they like these rocky outcroppings with brush and you can see the bank along there um, under these these rocks down here even though there are ants right over there I found a the deceased wind scorpion right near the ant nest so it's very possible since its abdomen looks so flat and deflated that maybe the ants had already um, I don't know somebody somebody's been eating it or it um, just died of natural causes and was starting starting to go flat so not sure makes you wonder how many creatures are are back inside of here there's a tiny little group of caterpillars very small um there's also a tiny spider scorpion that I found. Oh my gosh guys, I look terrible, but I have been traipsing around in the desert for um, probably, let's see, three hours and it's really hot. So my phone died. I don't know why it wasn't charging, but luckily I have some napkins. I'm very sweaty and I need to drink some water. But anyway, now you see <laughs> how it was out here. I don't even know the temperature. I'm gonna start the car and find out. All right, so it's 95. So I'm at the restroom. And uh, so the two scorpions are a little different. Um, this is the smaller one. And it is quite a bit stingy. I mean, it's it's flailing its tail around a lot and um, trying to sting into the air. The other one didn't do that at all. It was very docile and calm. So this gives you a pretty good look, as I promised. Zoom out a little bit so we can see the claws. So there we go. This is the northern scorpion. You see, it's looking for something to sting. It's uh, this one is definitely defensive. The other one is not. Oh, pretty. Look at your little face. You look, you look bitter, like you tasted an apple that's gone bad. So pretty purple. I don't know that I've seen a purple crab or that I remember seeing one. It's like a, a sea spooter. A what? A sea spooter. going into the water. Bye. 
Bye bye. I always feel sad when I have to leave a friend's house, especially when it's been a very, very short stay.